G'day. Us professionals and Fujifilm fanboys are very well catered for with our retro dials and old school camera designs. But what about the new users? Young people, they like swipe screens and fun. So when you look at Fujifilm, they've already got a foot in the camp with the up and coming ones. They've got uh, the XA7 with its amazing swipe screen, works like a phone on the back of their camera. They've got the Instax series, instant print things like Polaroid. But you know, us oldies tend to totally ignore that line and that's where we're missing the boat because the future of Fujifilm isn't with a small band of loyalists using their retro dials on their old school cameras. It's with the young people getting instant results. We're the dinosaurs and the comet of popularity is coming straight for us. So while we play with our retro dials, Fujifilm are selling Instax cameras by the truckload. And what I mean is, if you gather every X-series camera together, the XA's, the XE's, the XT's, the XH, the XS, put all those sales figures together, Fujifilm sell five times the amount of Instax cameras than all the X-series. And then if you do go to the X-series, the XA line, the XA5, the XA7, outsell all the others. Think about that. So Fujifilm have already got that sorted out because that's just Fujifilm revving its engines before the race actually starts. When the flag drops, imagine the screen, the swipe screen on the back of the XA7 on a phone. Fujifilm sims in the phone. Little Fujifilm lenses in the phone. It's a Fuji phone. Imagine the popularity of that. And that Fuji phone being able to transfer images straight to an Instax printer while we play with our little retro dials and things, Fujifilm are going to be conquering the next segment of the market like they've already got the young people with their Instax cameras and the XA line. And those things will carry Fujifilm on to more growth and more profit. Okay, so I've loaned the, uh, the Instax to someone who's in its target audience, pretty much. So, just going to go off and see what they've done, see what their thoughts are. I chose someone that was in the target audience of the camera, rather than uh, some old dinosaur like me. Traffic City. However, We'll just uh, see what this person thinks, what they've done with it. Hello, come on in. Thank you very much. How are you, Phoebe? Good, thank you. So, Phoebe, thank you very much for being able to uh, be a test bunny for this. Um, <laughs> That's fine. For the Instax. I've had fun with it. Yeah, now you're not uh, unfamiliar with these instant cameras. You already had. Yeah, an I had a, a Mini 11 that I got for Christmas, so I've yeah. kind of been using it a bit throughout the year so I kind of have a small background with Polaroids yeah, yeah. already which is good. Yeah now it's funny um, saying Polaroid because that's nowadays it's a generic term for instant print photos mm. uh, even though you know it's a company um, and Fuji I think are trying to sway people to say Instax <laughs> mm, <laughs> and call them yes, Instax prints yeah. because uh, they're trying to uh, corner the market really they're yeah putting out a lot of different instant film cameras this is the mini uh, which is they're fairly small little um, photos uh, you can get wides which are twice as big and so on and square very handy for very cute to pick up yeah now the 11 is a mini as well isn't it uh, yes it have. is yeah yep. yeah yeah because I almost thought it was the same thing when you mentioned it you said mini and I was like Hmm, and then you said it's a Lee plane. I was like, ah, yeah. so that's different to the 11. When I was looking at these, they came in three colours. <coughs> you can get a more serious black or uh, sort of a, a white with little flecks of colour in it or this uh, rose gold or something they call it. And you were attracted to the rose gold. <laughs> well, you know, most guys would have selected the black or something, but I thought, no, I'm going to embrace 
what this is all about and get the uh the, <laughs> the more colorful version well i'm so, thankful to you for that <laughs> <laughs> having had the mini 11 and playing around with the uh lee play what do you think of it in comparison it's it's definitely a step into the future with uh polaroid cameras yeah with most of the things that i would say i had problems with with the mini 11 are uh, I love, I still love Polaroids and I still love the Mini 11, but there were these major problems that I found with it, but with the Lee Play, it eliminated them. So for example, flash, yep. you can never turn that off on the Mini 11, oh, so it always annoying. does it, which is sometimes <laughs> a bit annoying because you know, you can stand in this like decently lit room, but because this is such a bright source, it makes you look like you're standing in a cave sometimes. Yep. So you, you kind of have to balance that. And with a few tricks and pointers, you can eliminate that which is fine it's just something you have to be aware of where with this you can have the decision of whether you want to turn the flash on or off which is really helpful because you still have it so that if you are in a situation where you need flash you're not stuck yeah. but you can switch it off when sometimes you get those situations where you don't want to look like you're in a cave hmm. or you're a ghost <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah with the inbuilt little selfie mirror thing on the front a lot of people you do use it to take photos of themselves yeah. and if it's always on flash like the other ones yeah yeah you do you look uh you do look a bit like Casper. Yeah, the trick <laughs> is just to try to hold it further, far enough away mm. and have plenty of like, just kind of where you're standing enough so that the surfaces can also get the light. If you're standing too far away, sometimes it just, you don't get light. And since it's catering for the light bouncing on you, yep. you're gonna look black. So try to stand close enough so the light coming out of that is gonna bounce on the surroundings a yep. wee bit. That sometimes <coughs> helps. But yes, it's very good. Also the whole thing with the, Mini 11 is that you, um, when you take a photo, immediately prints out, it immediately prints the thing out that's off frame. With this, you can see exactly the framing and also you can decide whether you want it printed out. So if you take something mm. that's not quite right, it doesn't waste some of your precious film. Yeah. Also with the, uh, the app that you put up, you can actually move the photo around. You can recompose, sort of reposition yes. the photo you've yes, taken. Yes, you can. Yeah. So, that's yeah helpful um, because the biggest cost of these things is the film that comes out now you're not uh, a stranger to photography you you've been doing some serious photography for quite a while now <laughs> yeah. what, what do you normally use uh, I normally use a uh, Panasonic Lumix FZ2500 um, and I've also got a wee comp Nikon Compact uh, yeah, yeah. A900 I believe so I go between them but mostly the Lumix so it's mm -hmm. a bridge camera yeah. So I'm used to using that. She's done a brilliant job with the bridge camera and the little Nikon. I've seen her photos, been watching her progress over the last couple of years, and uh, I'm very impressed. We'll flick up a couple of her photos anyway, so you can see what she's doing. You have some serious cameras, you're doing some serious photography, yep. and then you, you pick up an instant print camera like this. Yep. Do you think this is still photography? Yes. Yep. It's, it's a photography in a different form. Like you don't t pick up this and expect the same quality and um, manipulation yep. you can have with other cameras. It is, it's still an automatic, so you can't control and make, have as much in depth, but it's still, it's still, um, a creative outlet and it it still is photography in its own mind mm. you know if you can take a photo whether it's with a small compact or a polaroid or a big one yep. it's still photography you still have you can still decide what you're taking photos of and how you're going to position that so i would say yes it's not the exact same thing but i would still say it's part of photography yeah yep. you mentioned creativity yeah and this is one of the things i find with these when people are using especially young serious people are using photo gear like this they stick to certain rules they follow certain paths that are pretty well trod whereas someone picks up an instant camera like the instax yeah and all of a sudden their attitude changes mm. this is fun yeah they'll look at ways of having fun with the instax and that's why I wanted you to review it rather than me, because you are the demographic of an Instax camera. <laughs> yes. Uh, you're young, you're female, 
you're creative. Now, I've seen that in other areas of your life. And that's what these cameras are really good at. Yes, they and are. And people go out of their way to be creative and have fun when they've got one of those in their hand. Yep. I think all the serious photographers who walk around with something like this should pick up an Instax and get creative and have some fun. Find yes. out what it's all about. Definitely. This is the future because there's five times as many young people using these things to take photos than serious old men holding one of these. But it may actually start to be that these, this is the way that people start doing photography because yep. they have one of these. So sales figures have shown that young people can start with the Instax, have a lot of fun with it. And then if they want something with a bit more control, they do go to the X series, but they don't go to the X100V or the XTs or the EEs even. They go to the XA series. And the XA5 and the XA7 are the next biggest sellers. A lot of professional photographers would look down on the Instax and the XA series. That is the, the main sellers of Fujifilm cameras. Gives you a bit of new perspective, doesn't it? Kind of where it's all going. I mean, I started out with a wee with a very, very small compact just to do videos. Yep. And that's where I started. I didn't start thinking I would do photography. It was just, I wanted something to take photos of. And people would say, I just want something to, you know, get printouts with yep. friends or get selfies or whatnot. And that's what it starts out as. And then it progresses further. That, that's what it started out for me. But since these are starting to become really popular, it's going to be replaced from the wee yep. small Polaroids to this. Well, thanks Phoebe. I'm, I'm really glad you had a look at that camera because you're the intended target <laughs> for it. And uh, you've been able to produce some stuff that's uh, creative and a lot of fun. These birds. <laughs> Had enough? Yeah, really glad you were able to look at the Instax, have a lot of fun with it, and then give us your feedback. Well, I did and, have a lot of fun, thank you. Yeah, and uh, for all you X-Series photographers out there, I really do recommend pick one of these up. Instead of buying the next cheap $200 Chinese lens for your XE4 or your XT4, go and get an Instax Mini Leaf Play and find out what it's all about. But whatever you got, pick it up, take it for a walk and have some fun. Bye.